BG2021 showcased how we can achieve sustainability through holistic approach, through the new tools and programs of the PhilGBC, and through the experiences, expertise, and insight from all of our speakers and partners that joined us throughout our month-long Building Green celebration. Across 15 episodes, we hope we were able to inspire confidence and build trust that we are all capable of advancing towards better performing buildings, districts, and cities. Accelerating sustainable buildings for everyone, everywhere, we joined the annual global celebration of the World Green Building Week, along with around 70 national green building councils all around the world. And we also celebrated our National Green Building Day last September 8th as our formal opening for BG 2021. During the opening, DPWH Secretary Mark Villar and Cabinet Secretary Carlo Nograles challenged our industry to incorporate green building and sustainability that also addresses socioeconomic issues in all of our projects. Our Chair Mr. Edgar Sabido and CEO Mr. Christopher De La Cruz set the tone for BG 2021 and highlighted the importance of the development and implementation of tools to support the uptake of sustainable practices for everyone in the industry. We also appreciate the inspiring messages delivered by our World GBC Chair Tanya Cox and the World GBC APN Chair Mr. Kari Chan as they strengthen the global message in advancing net zero and creating better places for everyone everywhere. Further expanding our contribution to sustainable development, the PhilGBC Health and Wellbeing for Buildings rating tool was formally launched during the opening as our tool to support the development of buildings that provide positive benefits to the health and well-being of users. We were fortunate to have representatives from our national government highlight current policies and programs that promote greener, healthier, and safer built environments. We applaud the leadership of the Department of Energy, the Department of Health, and the Government Procurement Policy Board for raising the bar in the design, construction, and operations of greener and more energy efficient and healthier buildings. As mentioned by the DOE Secretary Alfonso Cusi, the department will continue to pursue all possible avenues that would help us break free from energy import dependence and provide the energy needs of future generation of Filipinos in a sustainable manner. The DOH Secretary Francisco Duque reminded us that by having the power to shape our own habitats, we also have the power to shape the well-being of individuals and communities that use and surround our buildings. The PhilGBC will continue to support the sustainable, sustainability programs of the government and complement its work to achieve sustainability in our built environment. In addition to the PhilGBC Health and Wellbeing for Buildings rating tool, the Berde District's rating tool was also launched. The PhilGBC aims to be at the forefront, not only in the promotion of green buildings, but also in the development of tools to support proponents of green districts and cities in achieving their holistic sustainability goals. We were also fortunate to have project owners share their journey towards Verde certification, including projects from both the public and private sector. We thank the DOH Davao Center for Health Development for the DOH Regional Office 11, the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority for the new MMDA office, King Properties Inc. for their Highline project, and Cebu Landmasters Inc for their Astra Center project. We hope that they inspire you in developing your own green building projects as they raise the standards for excellence in the built industry and pursue bare this certification for their projects. The business leaders discuss the challenges currently faced by the real estate sector and the opportunities in promoting greener and healthier buildings. Amidst the current pandemic, our moderator and panelists were unanimous on their view that positive benefits of going green far outweigh the costs. They provided a clear view on the direction of the green building industry, and we hope 
they inspired you to continue and build on the momentum for green building. The field GBC is committed to increase the, capa the capability of our industry in, de in delivering better performing projects using the different rating tools. Episode 6, 9, 10, and 13 were part of the professionals training series. Professionals were trained on the different rating tools available, including the pilot training for the field GBC health and well-being for buildings and bear the district's rating tools. Our partners emphasize the need for a co cooperation on the effort towards energy efficiency and conservation, renewable energy, green building, and sustainable cities. We thank ICLE, the German Philippine Chamber of Commerce, the Asian Productivity Organization, the EU delegation in the Philippines, and the Royal Danish Embassy Manila for sharing their programs that promote sustainability and green productivity. We believe that it is with the, the concerted effort of all stakeholders in our industry that will lead the transformation towards a greener and more sustainable districts and cities. We would like to express our gratitude to Senator Sherwin Gachalian for acknowledging Phil GBC's work on advancing net zero in the Philippines. Senator Gachalian said that to advance net zero in the country, we need to measure and benchmark. We need to maximize renewable energy. We must keep an eye on emerging technologies. We need policies and we need to continuously do research. Rest assured that the Phil GBC fully supports the action of government in advancing net zero in the country. In fact, with the support of the World GBC Asia Pacific Regional Network, the World GBC facilitated the Net Zero Readiness Workshop to gauge what we need and what are the opportunities in making sure the country is ready for net zero. During the workshop, Mr. Kari Chan, chair of the World GBC APN, shared that zero carbon buildings are no longer an option, but a must. Thank you to our specialists from our member companies, Daikin, Kone, Arcadis, Monocrete Construction Philippines, and Two Vrineland, and our partners, the Development Academy of the Philippines, the Department of Science and Technology, Dr. Christopher Drew and architect Christine Espinosa Irlanda for sharing their expertise on technologies and strategies that we all can apply to improve how we design, construct, and operate our green building projects. In addition to the expertise of our specialists, we hope you were able to learn about the latest green building practices and technologies during the green building marketplace. Through forums like this and our online platform, the Green Building Procurement Hub, the Phil, is, the Phil GBC is committed to empower you with the resources and knowledge to make sound decisions when selecting, procuring, and using the proper technologies and services in constructing, operating, and maintaining your green building projects. Thank you again to Daikin, Kone, Arcadis, AGC and First Balfour for their insights shared during the episode. We would like to thank once again the Trade Council of Denmark and the Danish Energy Agency for supporting the marketplace and featuring Danish companies that provided solutions on energy efficiency and sustainability. This is part of, celebra of the celebration of the 75 years of the Denmark-Philippines diplomatic relations. We hope that you drew inspiration from our business leaders during this morning's episode and that we encourage you to incorporate sustainability in your projects, companies, and communities. Thank you once again to Ms. Sheila Lobien, Ms. Ramona Margarita Cruz, Ms. Dominica Sherwinska, Ms. Kathy Saldana, Ms. Daphne Audrey Sanchez, and Ms. Jinky Desus Tiauki for inspiring men and women to push the market for greener developments.
We would like to thank all who have provided their support in making BG 2021 a success. To our moderators, uh, thank you, Mr. Raymond Rufino, our former board members, Mr. Gerard Superable and Ms. Emma Topasho, our CDPs, uh, Ms. Christina Samson and Ms. G. Garcia, and partners, Ms. Anne Svensson and Ms. Sheila Lobien. Uh, these activities were possible with the support of our BG 2021 sponsors our Diamond Sustaining Corporate Member, uh, Neo Property Management Inc., and our strategic partners for BG 2021, AGC, Arcades Philippines, Diking Air Conditioning Philippines, First Balfour, Kone Philippines, and Monocleed Construction Philippines. Thank you once again for your sustained support, and we look forward to your continued support to the green building activities of the Council. For those who were not able to attend the episodes, follow the PhilGBC official YouTube channel for the episodes of BG 2021. To formally close the BG 2021 conference, let us hear from Ms. Elizabeth Mendoza, Managing Director of Monocrete Construction Philippines, BG 2021 Conference Chair, and Secretary of the Board of Trustees of the PhilGBC. Hello, everyone. First of all, I want to say thank you to all the speakers and panelists for their contribution to the Building Green 2021 Digital Conference. I would also like to send our deepest gratitude to our partners in the government, partner organizations, local and international participants that helped make this event a success. This digital conference has indeed been a fruitful one. The presentations and active discussions on the latest strategies, technologies, and best practices on green building that have emanated from our digital conference when applied in the real world can help a lot in our task, duties, and responsibilities. I sincerely hope that with the takeaways we heard and learned from this, all of us can contribute to addressing our social environmental issues, which will lead to economic development here in the Philippines. This year's digital conference carried a theme of achieving sustainability through holistic approach. We hope it inspired you to pursue green building as shared by our invited experts and also motivated you to push front and center burden through the burden projects presented by the owners who imparted their stories of struggle and success. We also hope that this moved you to be more involved and engaged as we continue our commitment to work with the government, contribute more ideas and positively influence the way the government works in shaping the regulatory landscape that is fair, balanced, and science-based. We launched the health and well-being building tools and conducted a pilot training program to promote and direct our focus on the importance of implementing health, safety, and overall well being building strategies so that our occupants may reap the benefits of certified buildings. We hope to engage business and government leaders to join us in the campaign for healthier, safer, and greener buildings encourage private and public sectors to register their projects under the field GBC certification programs, inspire them to learn more about our work by enrolling in our training and certification courses, and challenging developers, building owners, contractors, and consultants to be featured in the next Building Green Conference. As I close my remarks and officially announce the end of the Building Green 2021 Digital Conference, 
I would like to thank the Board of Trustees, led by Chair Edgar Sabidong, the General Membership, Phil GBC Chief Executive Officer Christopher De La Cruz, and staff, Neo Property Management Incorporated, Diamond Sustaining Members, AGC, Arcadis Philippines, Daikin Air Conditioning Philippines, First Balfour, Kone Philippines, and Monocrete Construction. Thank you everyone for being here and taking time to patiently listen to what I have to say. We will be looking forward to see you in BG 2022. I wish you all a blessed day.